Hey guys, this is Sane here, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite assault rifle guns um, for the medic class. It is the Ace 23. Now this gun is just an absolute beast. It just mows through enemies left and right. Um, I'm not surprised, or I am surprised, not to be seeing more people using this gun. I mean, it just mows down enemies at all ranges. It's, it has a little bit of a recoil that you have to um, get used to, but once you get used to it, it's it's a dream gun now um, the damage overall let's see here we got a maximum damage of 25 with this with this gun and a minimum of 18 so even at long range you're still gonna be pumping some lead into these in these bitches <laughs> the reload time is when empty the long reload is 3.1 seconds which is a little long but the um, the slow the fast reload is only 2.1 seconds which is pretty good pretty good it doesn't it's not the best, but you know, you get it. Now, once you get used to the recoil and you kind of learn how it works, it's actually very easy to um, to handle. It's a lot like the M16A3 was in um, Battlefield 3. This gun pulls up with a .36 on recoil up. It has a times two multiplier right at the the very first shot, and it pulls to the left with .15 and it pulls to the right with .25 meaning this gun is very easy to control as long as you pull it down to down and slightly to the left you're gonna be able to just stay on target like it's a, a fucking laser beam this gun is ridiculous now I will say that this is um, one full round actually it's not a full round because I got in the game late but um, I didn't do any editing in this video um, there's some sound that cuts out but that's because I'm using shadow play which is in beta right now um, so I I think that the issues are with Shadow Play, or maybe it's with Adobe Premiere, I don't know. But um, I'll be doing a review on Shadow Play as well. So you guys can check it out, see how this uh, this gun fares. I just think it's uh, an absolute monster. Um, I, I prefer it over the M416. It takes a little bit longer to unlock this gun. You actually have to, uh, one of the med kit challenges, you have to get 50 heal or med kit ribbons. That's what it is. You get eight heals in one game, and then you get a med kit ribbon. You got to get 50 of those. Um, I think it's called a med kit ribbon. I'm not sure. Also, with this gun, you have to get 200 assault rifle kills. Uh, well, to unlock this gun, you have to get 200 assault rifle kills and obtain 10 assault rifle medals uh, or assault rifle ribbons. It's actually called the um, Assault Expert. It's one of the gold assignments that you get, and that's how you unlock the Ace 23. The hardest part of that is gonna be getting the 50 medkit ribbons, just because you have to get eight heals just to get one ribbon. Um, if you get in a game like Domination, um, any small game to where there's a lot of people around, just throw med packs or uh, the, your med bags all over the place, and you can get it actually pretty quick. And this gun is worth it. I'm telling you, this gun is amazing. Um, there are guns that are better for it in certain situations. Uh, you know, obviously, if you went with an AEK, it would be better for close range because of the 900 rounds per minute. And if you went with the the SAR, it'd obviously be better for long range because that gun is a fucking legitimate laser beam. I think it's just a laser beam on, on like a, a fucking barrel. That's all it is. I think it's ridiculous. I'll do a review of that gun as well. But overall I think this gun I, d I never use this gun and think oh man I wish I had the AEK right now or oh man I wish I had the SAR for this long range no nope. I'm able to um, compensate for anything any recoil or anything like that pick up a few M9 kills right there but I'll go ahead and let you guys enjoy this um, this let's play commentary I am using shadow play again so I can actually the shadow play doesn't record my voice so this is afterwards so there's no not going to be any live commentary and real quick guys just in case you were wondering in this video I'm actually using uh, the coyote sight uh, laser sight muzzle brake along with the ergo grip I did unlock the angled grip um, during this video I'm sure you saw it uh, I think it unlocked already but um, I did switch over to that and it, it helps manage the recoil if you're having trouble with that you can try out the um, the ergo grip or not the ergo grip, you can try out the angled grip or the, the stubby grip would help and also the, the potato grip sounds a little weird, looks a little weird too but those both help with the um, the recoil but alright guys hope you guys enjoyed be sure to check us out in the next one and I'll see you there